Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.18. Yes, indeed. We have been stranded on this planet for such a long time now that it actually looks like we've made permanent settlement here. But I can't say that that is really a case because neither I or my science officer, ZTech, have built a bed anywhere. Have you ever slept? I, I did slip that one time that you woke me up during the night to record another yeah, but something. I don't know about you, I just kind of curl up against these pylons here, hoping that the warmth of the electricity that flows through them will uh, will stop me from dying during the night. Wouldn't the, a furnace be better? I would be, but there, there's like <laughs> snooty, sno uh, snooty soot demons over there that I, I just don't want to don't mix with. Oh. I have noticed that the flare is coming up here, though, and maybe they'll be sleeping up over this way from now on. But yes, we we need to make <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, what could go wrong? Sleeping next to a petroleum flare. I, I honestly, there is no no stories in the whole of human history that say anything wrong with inhaling the gases from petroleum burning. Uh, okay. <laughs> But yes, anyway, our plan today is to try and get the red circuits turning because we don't have access to blue science yet, and that that makes me sad. And to do that, we need to get the red circuits on the go. So I, I think we need to try and at least discuss where this is going to happen. But before that, I think we also need to make plastics. I, I was jumping on a movement ahead there. Let, let me try and cover this up with some words so it sounds like I meant to come here anyway. Um, yeah, we, we, we need to actually make plastics, so that is quite... Uh, quite a mission. If I have a look in the the crafting box over here, uh, we need coal and petroleum gas. I believe my science officer is already moving away and uh, making <laughs> making the coal line. This is beautiful. Uh, I I feel I feel darkened though. And darkened. We need we need some light. Okay, that's nice and easy. We got. Coal fill feeding into here with petroleum from the top, feeding down into the plastics. I'm sure just the one machine will do it. Well, we could expand out through the water. I don't know. We can find a way to expand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have landfills. We do so. have landfills. Uh, in fact, I have a load of landfill right here. But anyway, science officer. As, as what I was saying earlier, I, I've been on this rock for quite some time. Almost the exactly same number of days of time as you've been on this rock. Uh, as you know, we've been here that, a while. That's how time, yeah, that's how time passes, yes. That is how time passes. Unfortunately, occasionally I've gone down into the deeper areas of the world than you, thus experiencing more gravity and uh, time passing a little bit faster for me. So I've been here longer, as, as, is, as is the want of the captain. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, back on back on our home planet, I would normally be due for rejuvenation treatment at this point. I don't know exactly what it is they do. I walk into a building, they give me a drink, I go unconscious, and I wake up 20 years younger. But my hands... Looking younger. Well, looking, younger. looking yeah, looking younger, feeling younger, and ha experiencing less damage on the inside. Which I think is what we all want from a rejuvenation process. I would guess they repair your damaged DNA. Yeah, damaged DNA, uh, any sort of minor damage to the cellular machinery. Uh, unfortunately, as a uh, commanding officer, I do not know the ins and outs of uh, how how they actually go about the nuts and bolts process, if you will. But we need to try and do something about this, because I reckon I've got about a week left to live. Oh, <laughs> So, I mean, <laughs> are, we, are we able to do anything about that on this planet? I, I hear that maybe the fish extract might be able to help. Uh, perhaps we could process the fish through uh, some of this advanced machinery that we've got. Surely there must be a way that we can... Like, can we just in, inject me with, um, with plasticizers and hopefully, like, stop the cellular degradation? Oh, oh my, that's a lot of inserters. <laughs> Oh, that is a lot. Oh, here, I can pick them up. Uh, we did use them somewhere, right? <laughs> uh, they get used in the production of red science and... Is it a different type of, of inserter somewhere? Where do we make yeah, inserters? Yeah, blue inserters right here need them. Okay, so we have plastics now on the belt. Woohoo! So, from plastics, we need to make... Uh, the the other things that are important. Oh wow, that's a lot of power poles I just picked up. Let's put them back in there. Uh, red science. Red science is the thing. Uh, red circuits. Uh, yeah, red circuits. Um, so um, going back to the rejuvenation problem. treatment. Oh, please, if you if you could help, I am a 
a, a rapidly aging man literally as we sit here i can i can feel it i can feel it affecting me <coughs> Would, okay so uh, technically going back to the previous conversation that we had uh, and you assuming that this world has been artificially made for us to be tested on it, yes, by the council, by that high command, making sure we are worthy of the of the, the the responsibilities they put upon us. So here's my question: Would they really uh, sabotage their own uh, what do you call it research into well whatever they're testing by letting you die? Oh, this is a question. Is this actually a hidden part of the test? Maybe. I, I, I feel like it might be. I feel like it might be. Oh, great. Great instructors from beyond. Please tell us what we need to do. How can we save a poor lowly captain? Where, where are you? Oh, you're all the way down that way. Have you tried being run over by a train? But no, I've, I've not tried being run over from a train. Uh, I've, I've not heard many stories speaking of the health benefits of being run over by a train, actually, if I'm to be honest. <laughs> and, a lot of people do lose a lot of weight from it. <laughs> I, uh, and of course, weight loss is something to be uh, desired if you are after a long and healthy life. Hi, yes. how are you doing there? Hi, uh, I'm stuck behind the machinery. <laughs> uh, uh, so this is where we're going to be, I'm guessing, building... Red gears. Uh, not red gears. Red, red circuits. I mean, if we can make red gears, that would be great. Uh, I'd like those as well. But yeah, red circuits sound like the winner here. Uh, let me just double check what we need. We do, of course, need green circuits, some copper cable, and some plasticized bath. So we can have plastic and circuit coming down this side. Jackson, what about the oil? What, rub it on my skin to make me feel youthful? Yes. I, thi I think this might be the, w the way forward. I was kind of hoping that some, some of this new technology we've been working on could, uh, could help me out here. Well, well, there might be a solution if we put you inside of a science machine. <laughs> put me in the science up. lab. Oh, such wonders! I had I had not even considered. Yes, yeah, we should we should put me in for study for for the good of science. As such, a uh, an extreme specimen such as myself definitely needs to be studied. I yes. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously we can use the landfill technology to fill in the cracks in my skin, the uh, the, the outward signs I, of aging. Yeah. I wouldn't want the government to regulate what's okay or what's not okay to say in public. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. I can understand that. I am completely 100% open for everyone to basically have the right to express their opinion, even though it's wrong, com completely wrong. You have the right to express your opinion and show ideas, whatever you want. Because the moment we decide to basically regulate that, freedom of thought is no longer ours. Yeah. And yeah. we will be left to the mercy of the future generations to basically uh, retcon... Uh, no, not, not retcon, basically... Uh, Basically, for the thing you say now, you're gonna be charged with a crime. Okay, later. yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. So because you can later it's gonna be a crime. <laughs> yeah, you can say something that's socially acceptable uh, now. now, and then at some point in the future, someone's like, no, 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 that's not how it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't personally want that for anyone to have that fear over them, because. As a society, I think we need to be more acceptant about any idea than to, than just to snuff them out. Yeah, but that that kind of does work conversely as well. Is those people that have those ideas that are um, I don't want to say worthy of regulation, but up for consideration of regulation. Um, they have to be aware that if they're not going to be regulated, they have to be. Um, liable for ridicule like in my country <laughs> as i'm sure you're aware one of the greatest things we do is we don't we don't outlaw anything but man we we make it a subject of intense cringy humor you know the, 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 the thing is as as i would not regulate people being able to say anything in public basically 
Uh huh. You are. If you're saying something in public, you're open to criticism. Yes. You're open to people saying their opinion back at you, and you have no right to go behind the police officer and say, "Oh, he was offensive to me." Uh huh. <laughs> no, that doesn't work like that. Yeah, no, I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, that, it's got to cut both ways. Yeah, if you're gonna be, basically, I'm, I, I'm, op I'm always gonna be for. If it's open to the public, and if you're doing something in public, that public is your judge and jury. No, oh, very much. Very, very, very much. If somebody's outside on the streets, uh, I'm not... And basically, uh... Supporting Nazis. Uh-huh. <laughs> again, you don't have the right to hit that person. But you can yell as equally loud as he against it. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. You you can call him an idiot. <laughs> you can call him an idiot. You can call him names. You can do whatever you bloody want. But you, I'm not giving the right to you to uh, 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 use force against them. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm not supporting that. I'm just. <laughs> I'm not even supporting that. Is so what you're what you're saying is the people outside abortion centers with the signs that's fine because the other guys that stood next to them with the other signs ridiculing them is allowed yeah 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 no i'm down with that i i i have no problem with people being able to express themselves uh, i'm just i just i'm just for both sides need an equal opportunity to be heard yeah and we shouldn't shut down conversation just because another person is offended about the end yeah no i i totally get what you're saying here i uh, i i agree always gonna be you know a group of people is gonna be discriminated against something. Yeah, always. Like the 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 problem is that we evolve from a, a system of slightly smaller tribes than we exist in today, which means that our mindset is almost always gonna be thinking about a smaller group, and that that very quickly breeds a thus first them. Uh, there was a, a psychological oh. study done back in back in a little while, and they they just randomly handed people a blue or a red shirt. Didn't tell them nothing. Yeah. Didn't say. Uh, just, just hung around. Just let them hung out for for an hour or so. And and group with the same color shirt were in the same corner as the yeah, end. yeah. And uh, just we naturally split into into smaller groups. And it is terrible for mass social cohesion. Like if if we could get that worked out, that'd be great. Oh, I don't have any chemical plants on me. It's no good. Uh, I was going to expand it's, it's the plastic. Just, yeah. No matter what they say now, in the future, people will see this as oh my god he's supporting this or that and unfortunately that's how it's gonna be and i am i'm happy with that call me whatever you bloody want i don't care <laughs> but i'm gonna talk to, i'm not gonna talk to that person ever so yeah and if we do i'm just gonna shut them down immediately and just i don't care about your opinion you still have companies that have basically slave labor in china and uh, asian countries uh -huh. that are still and you're still buying that product I mean, I do so when are you the bad to. guy? <laughs> you probably don't because it's too expensive for you to buy. Uh, so that Some is the problem, problem that we've got, is that you either engage with the exploitative system or you let it exploit you as you try and fight it. Yeah. And, and that that's a real bad system to find yourself in. Um, it's, a, it's a fight no human alone can win. No. Society needs to decide. Society has already been brainwashed to like the system because it's more comfortable than anything else. And that is the thing. Like, as much as it is a terrible system for, oh, I'm going to say the majority of human beings on the planet, there's a good 10% that are benefiting. <laughs> I would say the 1%, but okay. No, well, I mean, like, the 1% are definitely the winners of the situation, but that top 10%, I mean, they're still living better than we are. I mean, I might be, uh, I might be in the top ten percent living where I am. I don't know. That's that's hard to say because again, you still, it's, it's like saying that um, happiness is a product. Well, you could package it up. No, you can't. Yeah, that's the you, problem. <laughs> well, well, you can. Dr well, drugs and drug companies are trying to do. Yeah, that, they're doing so their best. <laughs> doing their they're best. doing their, their bloody best to commercialize happiness. It's still a decision you can make. Yes, maybe the situation you are is bad. That doesn't mean you can't be happy with it. Yeah. 
I mean, the, if you if you look at it like that, then the world can be filled with psychopaths being happy about being tortured. But yeah, <laughs> I guess. I mean, <laughs> it, uh, we are making blue science, right? <laughs> so yeah, you see this collection of stuff over here. These yeah. these two belts. I'm going to use them to make uh, more mining machines because that's. That's the one thing we're short of here. We got we got yeah. the red circuits, we got the engines, and now we need a bunch of of uh, science. Of, uh... Yeah, just pack it here. It's just strange that we as a society actually have the time to debate this and not be worried about hunting for food or war or famine or or disease or a plague. I don't know. Uh, that is that is probably why this terrible terrible system persists for so long. Is because actually it is terrible for the vast majority of humans, but it's also it, it, got the vast majority of people eating, which uh, it's not a bad thing. It, I quite I quite like eating. You quite like eating. I do. Good for you. It's, it's useful, you know. As long as there is no good enough substitute, there shouldn't be basically a reason for people not to like it. Ah, uh, but that's not how humans work. Humans are always like, yeah, it's doing all right, but can we do better? Yeah, but th we have. Always done that, yeah. haven't we? Which, which is, you know, what's got us, got us where we are, really. Uh, I'm going yeah. to take this away. Let me see. Instantly run out of gears. Let's go and have a look Instantly. at the gear. Oh, there's only one gear machine. That's why. Mm. <laughs> I have a solution to your problem, and it might be much simpler than you think. Oh no! Don't don't, don't offer me simple solutions. What? <laughs> go on uh, then. What you got what? for me? This. Just insert an extract on the bolts. Like that. Oh yeah, that might work. Okay, let me let me fix this back to what it was then. And then you do that, and it's nice and neat. Yeah, but now you have one underground. That's all right. I'll do it again at some point, and then I'll end up with <laughs> with another one. It was untidy. <laughs> since when do you care about tidiness? Um, <laughs> since 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 right now. <laughs> Since right now, you're, you are getting older, I guess. Oh, oh, young kids. <laughs> no respect nowadays. Back in my day, we used to respect our elders and our decisions. If we saw a wrinkle, we bowed down. <laughs> Gave him our seat in the bus. <laughs> Made sure our coats covered any puddle. <laughs> Yeah, where did that go? <laughs> Nobody's complaining about that, isn't it? Where does that stereotype go? You know, just a gentleman taking off his own coat and putting it into a literal puddle. I blame the uh, 1970s feminists. They're like, no, we're not taking that anymore. How dare you? Yeah, yeah. We, we, can, we can cover our own puddles now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all of these inserters are the wrong way around. <laughs> Oh god, we got sidetracked so much. <laughs> oh, what us sidetracked? No, no. We we are on the very very verge of getting blue science though. Uh, where are you taking that? Up to the blue science. I don't know. I don't know. I thought uh, there was. Some... Well, we can place the blue science right here. No, we gotta go up and round and back down. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna put it on the bus for this about distance. <laughs> Okay, I mean you're the captain. I am the captain. Don't forget it. <laughs> oh, our iron. We have an iron problem. Oh man, we do have an iron. Pro How can we have an iron problem? The train is gone. Yeah, it's refilling itself. But at the same time, the fern I are not pumping out at the speed you would expect them to. They've all got ore in front of them. Uh, we can upgrade the furnaces. Oh wow, we can actually upgrade the furnaces. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna go have a look at the 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 train. Let's have a look. What's going on over here? Hello, Chuck Norris. Why well, aren't you full yet? What's going on? Man, it must have literally just got here. Yeah. We need to tear this part down. I'm on my way. Because we should have them combine and then split off again. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. One going to one of them, and this one is going to this one. Nice. Yeah, and very this nice. And should now basically split off between the both and make it equally distributed, I guess? In theory, we'll see how it runs. I'm just having a look at these. We are about to run out of these all up here. This is nice. 
I mean, it, it, it sounds scary when I say we're about to run out, but it's actually pretty good. It's fine. Everything is fine. It, why would it not be fine? Hey, it's great. Yeah. It's all great. So we've got two yellows feeding into the red system, and then this should be just, like, full up here. Okay. Let's get back to... Back to blue, blue silence. silence. God, we're being so sidetracked. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely going to be fun to edit. Wait, what's this belt for? This belt. Let's come and have a look. What is this oh, belt it's, for? It's plastic. Plastic is dead. Ah, uh, yeah, there's only... I said we we're going to need more. Do we have a machine making chemical... chemical factories? No, we don't have... No, we're full on the uh, heavy and uh, light oil. Are we? Ah. Yeah, problems that can be solved with more storage. <laughs> more, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm down for more storage. I am down for more storage. Awesome. Basically, the refinery stuff is being filled up with. Yeah, the refinery puts out a set number of all three, and if it can't output any one of them, then it will just yeah. shut down. And we're just going to always be out of petroleum because all we ever use is petroleum. <laughs> no, would it, wouldn't it be? Extremely nice and pleasant for everyone that likes nature to just have a pipe and if you just leave it as an end pipe It just spills out everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean you see these water holes. We've got around everywhere Yeah, wouldn't it be great to fill them up with oil? <laughs> yeah, just pump out the water or don't even leave the fish yeah, just, in. Yeah, just leave the fish there I mean that, why don't they deserve to be part of the glorious new future? I, I, I mean isn't that the part of the Darwinian evolution and just the Stronger species that can adapt lives. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Survival of the fittest in action. We've gone from yes. natural selection to our selection. Okay. So plastics have been fixed. Okay. What's next? Blue science. Blue is being science. Made. Is, yeah. Let's get output some power on these things, and then we should be all good. Hmm. We have some troubles. Hmm. I'll figure it out. It's not the end of the world. I need to send one of these under, which thankfully is going to be this red circuit because we're going past some long-handled inserters. Okay, that that's the logic I'm using there. Okay. Science! We should probably research everything that we can. All the lower level stuff, like we've not done the shotgun thing. I'm, I'm expecting that shotgun one to be over in seconds. In fact, I'm going to wander my way over with this blue science to see what actual wonders are being done in the science labs. I, I, I hope, I hope that we've put the boffins onto the whole rejuvenation thing. Boffins? Boffins, yeah, it's um, a word for like a nerd, someone who... Uh, oh, something that's no longer okay to say. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't know, boffin kind of seems, seems alright. <laughs> <laughs> seems. <laughs> seems. I don't know. A poo seems right, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm past. I'm up past twenty now, so I, you know, I might be, be might be being offensive without realizing it. <laughs> yeah, it's been too long. Oh, uh, I don't can't think stretch. Can no, I was. Yeah. Ju I was just having a look. I mean, we could technically move these ones. Hang on, I've got. I've got a solution. I've got a solution. I, I also have a solution. Yeah. What's your favorite solution? There you go. I solved. Solved it. I think my favourite solution has to be salt water. It does so much for us. Oh. <laughs> does it? Well, I'm not sure about us specifically, but it does wonders for the, the planet and, it, and its ecosystem. Without salt water, we probably wouldn't have got the, the kickstart that we did. I'm not sure that that solution is a win. I'm... Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, that's, that's, that works. Why haven't the blue sciences reached us yet? Aha, a corner piece has not been put in place. Oh, yeah, got it. Oh. I fixed it. Yay, fixing problems. That That's why I'm in charge. I can recognize the problems and scream at other people until they're done. <laughs> Most of human governments look work like that. Exactly. It, it, it is the prerequisite for any leadership role. Uh, the, the ability to first make sure the blame does not fall upon you. And secondly, try and find out who is responsible and why they should fix it and not yourself. I think that's the only reason why AI can no never be a leader. Exactly, yeah. It would be too much my bad, guys. And that's that's not what leaders talk like. I, no, no, no. It's not even going to be a my bad, guys. It's, it's basically going to be... 
can you please do this? Thank you. <laughs> you didn't do it. Can you please do it? <laughs> yeah. We don't need please in in our leader. We need do it or or else. <laughs> yeah, but no, nobody likes the AI that talks like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. It seems to be evil. <laughs> Uh, so the si the shotgun's done. I'm going to do the circuit network just just to get it rolling. I might okay. I might even make some machines that will make them all. Maybe. Why do, you, uh, why do we need those? It seems a little over. Well, we don't we don't need them, but you know we're on our way to doing everything in the game, right? Maybe. So congratulations, Captain. We have successfully added blue to our list of colors. Woohoo! Yes, <laughs> we we've got uh, bloody marys, margaritas. Um, uh, so the only thing I ever know of blue is a blue lagoon, which is um, it's like it's a ri most of the cocktails I know are really minty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you, you're telling me you more like cocktails that are actually more mint than alcohol? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it covers up that sharp taste of the alcohol. <laughs> uh, and what are the other grey things? The grey thing, uh, oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen a grey alcohol. It's not. It's not the appealing coloured liquid to put in your mouth, is it? Yeah, um, I mean, viewers get on it. <laughs> yeah, viewers make, make, make us a make us a grey cocktail. Uh, I mean, like Smirnoff Ice is kind of bit. It's a sort of a cloudy bit of lemon. It's kind of grey, kind of white. I wouldn't might, know. <laughs> might, might work <laughs> if you squint at it. <laughs> if, you, really if you squint hard. really, really hard until until some some phasing comes over your eyes. <laughs> but I think with the advent of blue technology, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. Particularly you, science officer Z Tech, you've yes. been helping keep me sane through my physical degradation and aging process. Uh, um, hopefully the blue science will fix, th fix this yeah. but until then Captain's Log signing off <laughs>